Angels lead in half. The next batter is Carlos Gomez, already with a single and a double in this game. That's over the head of Mike Trout. Gomez ends up at third with an RBI trip. Two run shot, 4-2 Rangers. Then in the seventh, it's Gomez. See you later. A single, double, triple, and then the homer for the cycle. One, not for long. That's a two run scoring triple by Beltre, part of a six run first inning. Now to the bottom of the second, 6-3 the score, Texas in front, Beltre doubles. Are you sensing a pattern? Bottom of the third, in front, 10-3, Texas gets a single from Adrian Beltre, part of a five run third inning. Top of the fourth, bases loaded with one away, Colby Lewis facing Jason Castro, that ball isn't coming back. And we got a four run game, thanks to that grand slam, 11-7 the score. Now Adrian Beltre back at the plate, he needs a homer for the cycle, he got it. All three of Beltre's cycles have been in Arlington, and he becomes the fourth player to hit for the cycle three times. One, two. Belted to left center field. Revere going back, still going back at the track, at the wall, and he, uh, he dropped the ball. The ball came out of his glove when he hit the wall. Hamilton will score. Beltre going to third. He's in with a head first slide, and the Rangers lead one to nothing. Off the uh, wall right in front of the Twins dugout, and a bullpen, and he lines one down the left field line. That'll score Kinsler. Beltre not stopping at first. He's going to second. The throw is late. And Adrian Beltre, a double and a triple, another RBI. The Rangers lead five to nothing. So, you know, a long look in. Now the right-hander goes to the wind, the 2-2 pitch. Hammer to left field. Going back and looking up is Dovet. Goodbye. Adrian Beltre, a solo home run, his fifth in the last three games. And the Rangers lead seven to nothing. There's the double, the triple, and the home run. Boy, he is just pounding the ball. Batting average at 314 for Beltre. And he has it, a base hit to right field. Adrian Beltre with the cycle. The, uh, the monster yesterday, he homered up on top of it. Up the middle it goes. Benji Molina has another hit. Starting all over again by being out in the bullpen. Benji Molina to right field. That ball taking off a little bit. Looking to get up there. And it's dropped in right field by J.D. Drew. Molina's going to end up at second base. Well, Benji's starting to swing the bat now. He hit the home run, a bullet to third last night. Tonight he's got a hard hit up the middle. And a long ball to right field would have been a home run in, all ball, in our ballpark. Benji Molina cranks one into center field. It goes to the track. It goes to the wall. Benji Molina hits it out. A grand slam at Fenway. That trade's looking real good right now. Seven to three. The Rangers lead the Red Sox. Curtis Granderson sliding in to, to make it five to four. There goes Benji again to center field. Now could this be a triple? Come on. Benji, get going, kiddo. You Come got on, you got Come the on, cycle, Benji. big guy. Get there. Get there. Get there. He did it. <laughs> Pigs have flown in Boston, Massachusetts. Hard hit, a fair ball down the third baseline. Kinsler will score. Andrews right behind him. The ball caroms back toward the infield. Rios a big turn at second, but will hang on. Slow roller. Dominguez charging. Throws. Not in time. Well, Rios with those long, long strides. Came around to score. On the bases loaded walk by David Murphy. This ball is hammered to left field. Way back it is. Off the top of the wall. It's gone. And Alex Rios with his 18th home run of the year makes it a 9 nothing Ranger League. Rios to right center field. We may have a chance for a triple. Rios putting on the burners. He is around third. In to score is Elvis. He is in sliding with a triple. And he has the cycle tonight. That was quick. 
Four times up, he, count, he accomplished it. Jew, a base hit to right center. And that's going to scoot up the alley. Elvis at third. He's going to be waved around. Here comes the throw to the plate. It is not in time. Elvis scoring all the way from first on a Shinsu Chu double, and the Rangers lead it 1 0. Shinsu Chu stepping in to start the Ranger fourth inning against Kyle Kendrick. That ball is blasted to right field. There it goes. Goodbye. What a shot off the bat of Shinsu Chu. His 12th home run of the year is a solo shot leading off the fourth, and it gives the Rangers a 4 0 lead. What a blast by Shinsu Chu. Chu, a big night against Kendrick. Doubled and homered. Chance to do more damage here. Round ball by the dive of Mayhew into right field to base hit. And Shin Tzu Chu with his third run producing hit of the night. A triple shy of the cycle for Shin Tzu Chu. Shin Tzu Chu leading off here in the uh, top of the ninth inning. Two three hits tonight. Single, double, and home run. It's this one well to center field. Blackman is going back at the track. It's off the wall. <laughs> and this might be Here the cycle is. for Chu. He <laughs> is going for three, and he's going to be in with a dive. Shin Tzu Chu with the cycle. He caps it off with a ninth inning triple to center field. Shin Tzu Chu in the Ranger record books now. Shin Tzu Chu is one triple shy of the cycle. Here's a swing and a high fly, deep center field. Going back is Blackman. He's at the wall. It is off the wall. It bounces away from Blackman. Chu is digging for third base. Here comes the throw. A head first dive. He's got it. A triple for Chu and a cycle. How about that? It's just his second triple this year and the first cycle for a Texas Ranger since Alex Rio. Ian Kinsler right away drives it, and it's high up on the wall. Kinsler with his sixth double of the year already. The recent turn of events. They got to be loving Kinsler, though, as he drives this one to left center, and it is gone. It is now three to two. A pretty good second baseman in this game. Kinsler is now three for three. Well, he threw him a fastball, he hit a home run on it. Threw him a slow pitch, 71 miles an hour. He waited on that and ripped it into left field. Hasn't gone real well for Lease yet. Nope. Still well, not going too good. Ian Kinsler didn't get a triple, but he has singled home another range of run. It's 12 to 3. Kinsler sends it to right center field. What do you think? Heading all the way back there. Can he get that triple? He's got it. The fourth Ranger to hit for the cycle is Ian Kinsler. <laughs> Fans know it too, don't they? In the air left center field. Well, you know what? Maybe this ball goes and sits down all the way out there. Kinsler rumbles to second base and ah. He'll just pull up with a double and a six-hit game for Ian Kinsler. Oh, well, nice. On one. Here's the pitch. Teixeira swings and lines one hard to the gap in left center field. It is in there for extra bases. One hop to the wall in front of the bullpen. One run is home. Here comes Soriano around third. He will score. It's a double for Teixeira. And the Rangers lead it four to one. Double checks him in the 0-1. A swing and a high fly ball straight away center. Crisp going back at the track, at the wall. It is gone. A three-run home run for Mark Teixeira on the Greens Hill. And that will blow it open as the Rangers now lead it 9-1. to one. For Mark Teixeira, home run number 29 on the year, and it gives him five batted in in the ballgame tonight. A three-run homer his last time up. Rick White's pitch swung on, lined fair down the first baseline. Extra bases as it rolls to the corner. Young will score. Soriano being waved home. He will score. Teixeira standing at third with a triple. And Mark Teixeira a single shy of the cycle. 
Bartosh out of the stretch. Left-hander kicks and comes home with the pitch. Swung on, line to center field, coming on. Grady Sizemore can't get it. And Mark Teixeira, the second player in Rangers history to hit for the cycle. Easy single to center field in front of Grady Sizemore just into the ball game. And Chuck Morgan announcing it to the fans here at AmeriQuest Field. Almost no reaction from Teixeira at first base. And that will do it for Mark Teixeira. Rod Barajas will come in to run at first base. He gets a hand. And Teixeira strolls off to a standing ovation from the 24,000 plus in attendance. And a ground ball base hit to left field. So Matthews goes the other way. Leadoff single for Texas. Well, Matthews had a pretty good idea that uh, he was going to get another fastball away. Slice to left center field. Base hit. Going to get a run in. Kinsler with a two out single will come around to score. The throw into second is not in time. And Gary Matthews Jr. singles are making doubles in a run. Putting it all together this year. The 2 2 is right back up the middle into center. That's his third hit. This thing's going to roll all the way to the wall in center field. Granderson able to cut it off. Matthews will go for three. And he is in sliding with a triple. They are down seven to three. First pitch swinging is Gary Matthews Jr. He hits it deep to center field, and that ball is gone—a home run. And it's the cycle for Gary Matthews Jr. On the first pitch of the sixth inning, it's a natural cycle: single, double, triple, and now the homer. And don't think for one moment he was not trying to hit that ball out of the ballpark. What an outstanding season Gary Matthews Jr. has hit. He has had.